and I told you I was coming right back with the translated uh, video uh, and I didn't even know they translated it that quick so man, these people work fast so less than I would say like 30 minutes to like an hour uh, in between the times I recorded the two videos now when I uploaded them because I'm uploading them around the same time uh, but most definitely uh, they released the translated video now we can get a closer look at everything that I was talking about in the last video so most definitely let's zoom in I think I can post one yes I can so let's go to the top his specials are just too powerful one might expect his massive body allows for insane strength and as one might expect his massive body allows for <laughs> insane strength and in reach blow your enemies away gigantic meteor a massive explorer his super is Broly's three bar meteor launch from a massive energy ball and have it come crashing down on your opponents this is his strongest move okay should I get the meteor legendary super saiyan surpassing the power of a saiyan Broly is known for his massive body incredible strength for some reason he he is oddly persistent in his need to fight Goku an immensely powerful fighter, extraordinary. Now, the the, the ranks, I uh, basically knew that he wasn't going to be fast. You know, I forgot to point that out in the last video. But his energy is S, his reach is double S, so, so he's actually going to have a long reach. Um, his technique is going to be B, so it's going to be kind of kind of average. Um, but his power, of course, you know, anybody who knows Dragon Ball knows that Broly is, is, is a is a powerhouse. Now the one I'm curious about is Bardock himself. Now his technique is C, his speed is S, you know, of course he's going to be fast, his power is S as well, his energy is A, is a Bardock shines, shines in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Smack your opponents with this powerful move. While it's hard to extend combos with this, it makes up for it with raw strength, getting their face and ruin their day. So whatever this is, Meteor, Super, Revenger Assault. What Bardock goes Super Saiyan in his media? A tackle that leads into a barrage like none other. Finish them with a stream of key blasts. So it was like I was saying, it doesn't look like he'll be able to go into Super Saiyan during a match. He only goes Super Saiyan during his uh only during his super. Which is kinda sad because I would like to see him be able to transform, even though it's what if it'll still be cool I don't know if the cinematic is gonna play out to where maybe this is like a what if like scenario and he just like he hits that real quick and then he kinda like just snaps out of whatever daydream he's in or whatever vision he's having of him going Super Saiyan I don't know how it's gonna play out but it's still kinda crazy that they made it they made him go Super Saiyan that's um that's wild now the thing I'm really interested in is, is the stuff down here, cause uh, they talked about, cause I've seen the base form of Android 21, and unfortunately, it has nothing to do with Dragon Ball fighters. Um, so let's see, bringing back nostalgia tracks. Nobody really cares about that. Is a available to those who own both games, Kaushin of time lobby character and Z stamps for, for Dragon Ball Fighters so for those people who own both Dragon Ball Fighters and uh, the Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 uh, they will have their selection of DLC so the people who own both games are, are going to get a, a, a supreme kind of time uh, in game avatar and some stamps and for the people who are on Dragon who are, who are on Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, you know they they are still supporting that game very heavily. Um, you can get an Android, uh, you get an, an original excuse me an original form of Android. Accessories set available in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Give me a second. Damn, still my throat. 
cough. But yeah, Android 21 skin and accessory set available in, in Xenoverse 2. Now, here's the thing. This is an Android 21 skin. So I don't know if they're going to give this to like, maybe like a, a female boo character. Which, which would kind of make sense when you think about it. Because Android 21, she did kind of, you know, fuse with like Majin Buu or whatever. Or however the story goes. I haven't played the game, but she looks like Boo. You know. Um, for... Or in Dragon Ball uh, Fighters. It kind of looks like she fused with Majin Buu or took whatever, like a piece of his skin. I don't know what the story is or how she, how she turned like that. I ain't played the game yet, but I'm assuming that the female Majin Buu character in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 would be able to use this skin, which would be, you know, pretty accurate and cool. So regardless of what the fact is, uh, I think these are pretty, pretty cool uh, additions to, the, to both games. Um, obviously more so Dragon Ball Fighters. Then uh, the Xenoverse 2, but they're both getting something, and it's good to see that both games are still getting supported, most definitely. But um, of course, I'm gonna leave this translation in the video description. I'm gonna tie it to the end annotations in the previous video that I uploaded, so if you guys can see it as soon as you get finished watching that one. You can jump right in, into this one, and um, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Until then, keep on gaming. Peace.